Well, folks, it is Fed Day, Fed Day, Fed Day. And one of the things I like to do is talk to other experts, get their mindset, see what's going on. And to do that, we're going to have a conversation with the Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, you know, way back when Jack, uh, Jerome Powell comes out of Jackson Fall, has an eight-minute discussion, basically saying he's going to crush the housing market. I go on to predict a 40% crash in the housing transactions, which have all transpired. We are on the cusp of another Fed meeting. I think we are pretty close to the terminal rate, which is all I ever ask for. We can get to the terminal rate. We can start to put a foundation. Banks can start to collapse margins. And we can get on to getting on. What do you think? We close to the terminal rate? Is today the last raise? Are you brave enough to say pause? What are you thinking? Well, I, I think I think that if, if I was a betting man, I bet 25 and then pause. Um, okay. And, you know, some some weird part of me was thinking that some of the people that are a little bit more dramatic were like, they might do a 25 basis point cut. You know, when, <laughs> when the banking crisis was happening, there was people calling for like an emergency meeting and a cut. But you know what's crazy is I've changed my stance on um, kind of what I want and hope for. Because sometimes what I'm projecting or what I'm hoping for is not necessarily based on reality. It's based on what would be good for the people right. I'm closest to, which is home buyers. Um, of course. And from what I've seen, a lot of home buyers have kind of absorbed this new world we're in. Rates are higher. It's not as affordable as I'd like or that I want, but I still want to participate. I still need to buy a house because, you know, I've got twins on the way or whatever the case may be. And so um, I used to kind of hope for a dramatic turnaround in 5% interest rates by June. I now think based on our current market, that would be do more harm than good. Oh, you know, this would be very, let me be very clear. If we got to a 5% interest rate by June, it would be bananas and inflation would take off again. Yeah. And it would be really bad for housing because demand yeah. would spike and there's no inventory. Um, and so, um, you yeah. know, I, I think like like a lot of people have said and, and, and smart people I follow, um, the Fed doesn't want to spook the markets. They don't want to, you know, wave a big flag that there's problems and there's, you know, scared and action needs to be taken. So the 25 basis point hike that's you know, baked in or expected. It's coming. Is coming today. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know if you've looked at rates today or maybe you looked at Mortgage News Daily. What, what What is, I think yesterday was like six, seven, five or something. Yeah, I can pull it up real quick because I was, I, I had my, my MBS stuff up, which is down slightly on, on the day. Um, and, and we'll watch that because we always meet on this day, right? So yeah, so we, Wednesdays. Every, as we're recording this, we're probably we're an hour and a half away from, um, yep. Fed announcement and then uh that yeah, I think we're let me see, I'll pull it up. It's it's six, seven-ish. Um yeah, so let's say and, six, seven. It does have to be perfect. Yeah. My question well, was gonna be, what do you think we end the year at? That's the that's the question. Where where are you at in that? Man, that's a good one. This is this is fun because I, I watch my mind and my brain <laughs> change in real time, right? Yeah, yeah. If you would ask me this question a month ago. I would have said, and it would have been partly due to like, I'm trying to manifest right. 5% or, or, you know, four, seven, five to five. My Oops. new outlook on it is a slower, healthier yeah. drop. And so um, let's end the year in the mid fives. Yeah. So one of the things I've said and still believe is, is I think we're going to average sub six. So the average for the year will be five, nine, seven, five, nine, four, something like that, which means in order to get there, we probably have to end the year at five and a half. Cause again, we start the year at six and 6.7. So yeah, I think, I think generally speaking, we end the year sub six, uh, but to your point, the only way we get there is we got to, we got a baseline. We got to have the foundation. We got to be at the terminal. We got to, we got to be on pause for a while. I guess the last question on this is, do you think any of the Fed presidents will even highlight a possibility of Fed rate cuts this year? Would that be out there? Because they're going to release the dot plot today. Do you think any of them have the balls to say we're going to cut rates this year? Um, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't I don't think they can. I think if even one of them says there's cuts coming, all hell breaks loose. 
Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. We, we're going to see. Yeah. I was talking to, I was talking to one of my buddies from BlackRock yesterday and I can't remember where I saw it, but I saw um, a chart for that terminal rate. Um, oh, they're, they're, the market wants a hundred basis. Well, but then I saw like for the second half of the year, it coming all the way back down to four or four. Yeah, no, know. exactly. The, the, the market, the smart money is calling for a hundred basis point cut this year. But you don't think I, anyone in the Fed is- The is... Fed can't say that. The Fed can't say <laughs> that. No, they can't. I mean, like it would be sacrilegious. They can't. That's like the Fed forecasting a recession. Even if they see it's coming, they can't say it out loud. Okay. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. I, I think, you know, knowing what I know about the Fed, they're not trying to rattle cages and make waves, right? They're, they're going to be very intentional- with their wording, and they're not going to say anything that's going to be too disruptive and too market moving. Uh, that that's my call is yeah. is that it's a bunch of nothing burger. Yeah. So at the end of the day, if you want to work with a mortgage professional that has your best interest in mind, tells you what's going on, what program works, Matt the Mortgage Guy is that guy. How should people reach out? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com. We're licensed in forty five states. We're happy to help. Um, you want to start uh, most real estate with figuring out the financial piece. And, and what the numbers look like. Uh, so if you're looking to get pre-approved, whether it's investment property or something you're going to live in, greatmortgagebroker.com. Thank you, buddy.